Hi friends today we will study body movements there are two types of body movements a living organism usually do first is movements of body parts like mouth head arms backbone fingers etc and the second movement of the whole body from one place to another which is called as locomotion now to understand how body moves and how locomotion takes place let us first study the bones present in our body skeleton the bony framework inside our body is called skeleton human skeleton is inside the body and hence it is called as endoskeleton skeleton provides a framework which holds our body together and also gives a shape to our body human skeleton is made mostly of bones with some cartilage in certain parts bones are hard and tough but cartilage is softer than bones there are 206 bones in the human skeleton these bones are interconnected through joints to form various parts of the body our skeleton has movable joints between various bones which allow the muscles to move the head shoulders arms legs and other parts of the body let us understand the structure of our skeleton the skeleton consists of skull backbone ribs breast bone shoulder bones hip bone arm bones and leg bones the important functions of skeleton are as follows skeleton holds the whole body together and gives it a shape skeleton protects many delicate internal organs of the body such as brain heart liver lungs and spinal cord from outside damage skeleton provides numerous points for the attachment of muscles of the body along with muscles skeleton helps in the movement of body parts and locomotion let us understand some of the parts of human skeleton in somewhat detail skull skull is made of 22 bony plates joined together the bones of skull form a strong case around the brain in this way skull protects the brain the skull also protects the main sense organs like eyes ears and nose the eyes are contained in two large cavities called eye sockets in front of the skull backbone the backbone or spine is a long hollow rod like structure running from the neck to the hips inside our body the scientific name of backbone is vertebral column backbone forms the main supporting structure of the body backbone is made up of 33 small bones placed one over the other The small bones which make up the backbone are called vertebrate. Between various vertebrae of backbone are the discs of cartilage. These discs allow the vertebrate to move slightly and enable the backbone to bend forward and backwards. The top 7 vertebrae of backbone form our neck. Our backbone supports the head at its top. The shoulder bones, rib bones and hip bones are all joined to the backbone. There is a hollow center inside the backbone to each vertebra. The spinal cord passes inside the hollow cavity of the backbone. Thus, backbone encloses and protects the spinal cord from damage. Rib cage. Ribs are the curved bones in our chest. Ribs exist in pairs. There are 12 pairs of ribs in the chest of our body. One end of all ribs is joined to the backbone. and the other end is joined to the breast bone in this way all the rib bones a part of backbone and the breast bone join to form a bony cage the hollow bony structure formed by the ribs is called as a rib cage the rib cage protects the delicate internal organs like heart lungs and liver the rib cage also takes part in our breathing movements shoulder bones shoulders are that part of the skeleton to which our arms are attached there are two shoulder bones collar bone and shoulder blade the collar bone is a long curved bone one end of collar bone is attached to shoulder blade and the other end is fixed to breast bone of rib cage collar bone keeps the shoulders apart the shoulder blade is a large and flat triangular bone The shoulder blade is attached to backbones by muscles to allow the free movement of the shoulder. 
Each shoulder blade has a cup shaped socket. The upper arms fit into the socket of shoulder blade forming ball and socket joint. Hip bone The hip bone forms a large basin shaped frame at the lower end of the backbone to which the legs are attached. The hip bone is also known as pelvic bone. The hip bone is made up of number of bones fused together by fixed joints. The hip bone encloses the portion of our body below the stomach. The hip bone has two sockets on the two sides of its lower part. The thigh bones of our legs are joined to the hip bone by the ball and socket joints. Bones of the hand. Our hand is made up of three parts: wrist, palm, and fingers. The wrist consists of eight small bones known as carpals. The palm of hand is composed of five longer bones called metacarpals. The fingers are made of jointed bones called phalanges. There are three bones in each finger, but the thumb has only two bones. The wrist bone forms movable joint with the bones from movable joints with fingers. The finger bone forms movable joints among themselves. There are five fingers in our hand, including the thumb. Cartilage. Most of the skeleton consists of hard bones. However, at some places in the skeleton, there is a material which is not as hard as bones and which can be bent. It is called cartilage. Though most of the skeleton is made of bones, but it has some cartilage too. Cartilage is much softer than bone. It can be bent without breaking. It is a kind of softer and elastic bone. Cartilage is present in the following places in our body. Cartilage is present in the pinnae of the ears. It is found at the end of nose. Cartilage is found on the end of bones where they meet one another at a joint. Cartilage is also present between the vertebrae of a backbone. Joints of the body. Our skeleton is made up of the hard and strong bones. Bones cannot be bent. We can bend or move our body parts only at those places where two or more bones join together. Such places are called joints. We can bend our arm at the elbow because the bones of the upper arm and lower arm form a joint at the elbow. Most of the joints allow the bones to move. The amount of movement depends on the type of joint. We can move our head, arms, hands, legs and feet because all these parts have bone joints. In the freely movable joints like elbow, knee, shoulder and hip joints, the ends of bones forming the joints are held in place by a strong connective tissue called ligaments. Also, the ends of the joint are covered with a soft, smooth layer of a cartilage. There is also a thick oily liquid between the ends of the bones of freely movable joints which allow lubrication. Types of Joints There are different types of joints in the human skeleton which helps us to carry out different kinds of movements or other activities. The main types of joints in the human body are hinge joints, ball and socket joints, pivot joints and fixed joints. Let us understand each of these joints one by one. Hinge joints if we open and close a door, we will find that the door can move only forward and backwards actually. The door is joined to its frame by small metal joints called hinges. These hinges allow the door to move only in one direction, forwards and backwards. So, a door is said to have a hinge joint. In our body also, we have some bone joints which move like a door on its hinges. They are called hinge joints. In our body, hinge joints occur at elbow, knee, knuckles and jaw. These are all hinge joints. If we try to bend our elbow, we will find that we can bend only one direction, forwards and backwards. This is because our elbow is a hinge joint. The lower end of upper arm bones is in the shape of a knob and the upper end of lower arm bones is in the shape of a cup. This knob and cup fits to form a hinge joint. 
Similarly, if we bend our leg at knee, we will find that we can move it only in one direction, forwards and backwards, like a door on its hinges. So, the knee joint is a hinge joint. At the knee, the lower end of the upper leg bone is in the form of a knob and the upper end of a lower leg bone is in the form of a cup. This knob and cup fits to form a hinge joint at knee. Ball and socket joints In this type of joint, one end of the bone has a round shape like a ball which fits into a socket in the other bone. The ball type end of one bone can turn freely in the socket of the other bone. So, in the ball and socket joint, the bones can be turned in any direction. The ball and socket joints occur at the shoulder and hips in our body. In other words, the shoulder joints and hip joints are ball and socket joints. A ball and socket joint allow much more movement of a bones than a hinge joint. In fact, ball and socket joint allows the maximum variety of movements as compared to all other joints in human body. Let us understand the shoulder and hip joint in detail. If we stand up and move our arm around at the shoulder, we will find that we can move it forwards and backwards and from side to side and we can also rotate it. This is because shoulder is a ball and socket joint. This joint is formed as follows. The head of upper arm bone is round like a ball and the shoulder blade bone has a socket in it. At the shoulder, the ball on the top end of the upper arm fits into the socket in the shoulder blade bone to form a ball and socket joint. The ball shaped top end of the upper arm bone rotates freely in the socket of the shoulder blade so that the arm can move in all directions. Let us now discuss the hip joint. If we stand up and move our leg around at the hip, we will find that we can move it forwards and backwards and from side to side and we can also rotate it. This is because hip joint is a ball and socket joint. In hip joint, the upper end of thigh bone is round like a ball whereas the hip bone has a socket in it. At our hip, the ball on the top end of the thigh bone fits into the socket in the hip bone so that the ball and socket joint at hip allows the leg to be moved in all the directions. Pivot joints in a pivot joint, a cylindrical bone turns in a ring type bone. The pivot joint allows rotation around an axis. A pivot joint exists between our skull and the top vertebrae of backbone. A pivot joint exists between our skull and neck. This pivot joint allows our head to bend up and down and turn from side to side. Another pivot joint occurs in the foam forearm near the elbow. The forearm has two bones, radius and ulna. In the forearm, the pivot joint makes radius and ulna bones to twist around each other. Fixed Joints In some joints, the bones are held so tightly together that they cannot move at all. Such joints are called fixed joints. In fixed joints, the bones are held very firmly together by strong fibers. The fixed joints are immovable joints. The function of fixed joints is to provide strength and support to the body or to protect delicate organs like brain which cannot withstand any kind of deformation. Fixed joints occur in our skull. The plate type bones of our skull are held together by fixed joints and cannot move at all. This makes the skull very strong. The hard and strong skull protects a delicate organ of our body called brain. Friends, we will study muscle contractions and movement in animals in the second part of this video. Hope you like this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and all the very best.